A pentagonal pyramid of base 25mm side and axis 55mm long has one of its triangular face in the VP, and the edge of its base containing by that face makes an angle of 30 degrees with the HP draw the projection. This is the required pentagonal pyramid of base side 25 mm. Its axis is 55 mm long. It is resting on one of its triangular face on the vertical plane. And the edge of the base, containing by this triangular face, makes an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal plane. Now we have to draw the projection in this position of the pyramid. Let's see how to draw on drawing sheet with the help of drafter. Draw a reference line with H pencil and name it X and Y. As the pentagonal pyramid is resting on one of its triangular face in the vertical plane, so its axis become inclined to vertical plane. Now to draw the first step, we will first consider the axis perpendicular to the plane to which it is inclined. So assume the axis of the pyramid perpendicular to vertical plane and draw the true shape of the base, that is pentagon. Draw a regular pentagon of 25 mm side above the reference line. Join all the corner to the center of the pentagon to represent the slant edges. Name all the corners of the pentagon as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, and also name the apex as O dash. Draw the projectors from each corner of the pentagon till the reference line and name the corresponding points as A. B, E, C, D. Now draw a 55 millimeter axis and name the apex as O. Join these points to the apex O to represent the slant edges. Now for the second stage, push the pyramid such that it will rest on one of its triangular face on the vertical plane. So to draw the second stage, take the compass and measure D to O. Mark a point on reference line and name it C1D1. Now put the needle of compass at C1D1 and cut the arc. Name the point as O1. Measure the length of the base from the first top view, that is A to C, and from C1D1 as center point, cut the arc. Now measure the length from A to O from the first top view with the help of compass. From O1 as center point, cut the arc and name the intersecting point as A1. Join C1D1 to A1 and O1 to A1. Measure the length from A to BE from the first top view. Now put needle of compass at A1 and cut an arc on this line. Name the intersecting point as B1E1. Join B1E1 to O1. Now draw the perpendicular projectors from these points. Also draw projectors parallel to reference line from the first front view. Name the intersecting points as A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash, and O1 dash. Now join A1 dash to B1 dash, B1 dash to C1 dash, C1 dash to D1 dash, D1 dash to E1 dash, and E1 dash to A1 dash. Now join the slant edges B1 dash to O1 dash, E1 dash to O1 dash, A1 dash to O1 dash. These two slant edges will not be visible from the front, so join them as hidden edges. We have completed two stages. Now we have to draw the projections for the final stage. As given in the question, the edge of the base containing by that triangular face, which is resting in the VP, is inclined at 30 degrees to the HP. C, D is the edge which is containing by that triangular face. Draw a line inclined at 30 degrees above the reference line. We have to trace this figure on this line, like this. So, anywhere on this line mark a point and name it as D2 dash. Measure the length C1 dash to D1 dash with the compass. From D2 dash as center point, cut an arc on this inclined line and name the point as C2 dash. Join D2 dash and C2 dash. Now measure C1 dash to O1 dash. Put needle of compass at C2 dash and draw an arc. As the length C1 dash to O1 dash is same as the length of D1 dash to O1 dash, 
So with the same measurement, put needle of compass at D1 dash and intersect the arc. Name the intersection point as O2 dash. Join C2 dash O2 dash and D2 dash O2 dash as hidden line. The length O1 dash to B1 dash and O1 dash to E1 dash is equal. So now measure O1 dash to B1 dash and from O2 dash as center point draw an arc on either sides. As the length C1 dash to B1 dash is same as the length D1 dash to E1 dash. Measure the length C1 dash to B1 dash and C2 as center point intersect the point and name this point as B2 dash. With the same length and D2 dash as center point intersect this arc and name the intersection point as E2 dash. Join C2 dash to B2 dash. B2 dash to O2 dash. O2 dash to E2 dash and E2 dash to D2 dash. The length B1 dash to A1 dash is equal to the length E1 dash to A1 dash. So measure the length B1 dash to A1 dash and B2 dash as center point draw an arc. Now put the needle of compass at E2 dash and intersect this arc and name the intersection point as A2 dash. Finally join B2 dash to A2 dash and A2 dash to E2 dash. Finally join A2 dash to O2 dash. This is the required final front view. To draw the final top view, draw the perpendicular projectors from every corner point of the final front view. To get the intersection points draw, projectors parallel to the reference line from the second top view. Name the intersection points as A2, B2, C2, D2, and E2. Join A2 to B2, B2 to C2, C2 to D2, D2 to E2, and E2 to AA2. Now join the slant edges that is A2 to O2, B2 to O2, C2 to O2, D2 to O2, and E2 to O2. Now we have to determine the hidden edge. Can you guess the hidden edge?